welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is your glamorous penny pincher, Shalomi, and today I'm participating in the All About Me tag, and I was tagged by the amazing Kimberly over there at Diva Designing on a Dime, and I will leave a link in the description box be uh, below. That way you can head on over to Miss Kimberly and check out her channel as soon as you finish watching this video. So if you want to learn all about me, stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into these questions. There are 12 questions and let me start with question number one. And I'm looking down guys because I'm looking at my iPad because that's where the questions are. So if I'm looking down, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just trying to figure out what the next question is going to be. So question number one is, my zodiac sign is, I am an Aquarian. I was born in February, February 16th. So yes, I'm an Aquarian. Number two, my favorite color, my favorite color is purple, all shades. I just love purple. It's just beautiful to me. So there you go, purple. Number three, I've always wanted to I've always wanted to go to Africa and I've been a few places but I haven't been to Africa yet so I'm just waiting to go you know at the right time I know I will go there at some point but I just don't know when right now but I've always wanted to go to Africa and I will be going I'll let you know when I go and in case any of y'all want to join me honey come on let's do this all right Number four, if you met me in person, you'd probably, probably love me. <laughs> okay, aside from that, seriously, if you met me in person, you'd probably be really surprised at how short I am. I am five feet, two inches tall on a good day, a good day with socks on. I'm five feet, two inches, inches tall, very short. But because I wear a lot of heels, a lot of people are fooled into thinking that I, I'm taller than I actually am. So if I'm out anywhere and I step out of my heels, everybody kind of looks down like, uh, hang on a second. I didn't realize you were that short. But hey, I love me. And uh, I love my height, right? So I am 5'2". Now you know. So if you see me in the street and you're not sure if that's me or not, my height should give me away. Okay? 5'2" on a good day all right number five my real age is but I feel like I am I have to sip sip some tea for this okay my real age is 45 yes I turned 45 on February 16th uh, 45 my real age is 45 but I feel like I'm 25 honey I can do whatever the 25 year olds are doing barring some things that is not every single thing now but the majority of what the 25 year olds do I can do it so I'm 45 but I feel like I'm 25 all right so 20 years docked off right there uh-huh all right number six my favorite thing to do is my favorite thing to do is to hang out with my family. I just absolutely love being with them. Like my daughter just moved downstairs to the basement, one floor down, and I miss her. I love when we're all together and we don't have to be doing anything grand or great. We could just all be in the family room watching TV or something. I just love when we're all together having a good time. So my absolute favorite thing to do is to be with my family. Number seven. When I'm not watching YouTube, I'm watching, okay, if I'm not watching YouTube, I'm watching IDTV. So that's investigate, you know, the investigation shows, the Joe Condas, the uh, See No Evil. So any IDTV. I love, 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 love watching that. Like that's pretty much on all the time. In, uh, on the TV in our family room. If I'm not watching YouTube, I'm definitely watching IDTV. Love it. Number eight, my ideal mate has to have, hmm, listen, I already have my ideal mate. Okay, I've been married going on 24 years and my husband has everything that I need. I know that he was selected from me by God because that man is the yin to my yang we complement each other so well 
and when God gave that man to me he lacked nothing so I already have what I want and I'm praying for you if you don't have what you want or what you need because we pray for what we want but God gives us what we need so if you don't already have the man you need or the mate that you need then he's coming or she's coming just pray and ask God to give Lord give me what I need instead of giving me what I want because if I had chosen what I wanted I would have wrecked myself but I, I, I was you know patient and God gave me what I needed and my husband is lacking no thing okay best believe it okay number nine the easiest way to turn me off is by the easiest way to turn me off is by just talking too much just you know sometimes you meet people and they start talking and you don't get an opportunity to get a word in because they just uh, basically just dominate the conversation and they just keep going 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 at that point I have shut down I'm no longer hearing you I'm not I'm no longer interested we're no longer conversating we're just it's a monologue at this point you're just and I'm like okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sit my tea is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes all right, number 10. I like to, first thing in the morning, I like to reflect first thing in the morning. So, you know, I reflect, you know, off, you know, what my, maybe my past day was and what my new day should look like in my hair. I reflect on Christ um, and all that stuff. So the minute I open my eyes, I'm thanking God for waking me up this morning and then I just start reflecting. Um, first thing before I get out the bed number 11 if I become rich the first thing I'd buy is okay let me take self aside the first thing I'd buy is you know homes for people who are homeless and are truly de deserving of a place to lay their heads uh, the f that's the first thing I probably do is start looking for ways to help people that's just how I am and like I said, the homeless people, I would definitely start looking into programs and looking at ways um, at which I can, you know, be of assistance and start building or buying homes to put them in. So that's the first thing I would do. Yeah, I know that's politically correct, but whatever, that's the first thing I would do. And then right after that, I'd go, you know, get me a bigger house so I can get a bigger closet. Okay, there I said it, okay? all right oh wow we are down to the last question question number 12 and it says if i could be anyone else in the world who would it be i would not want to be anyone else in the world absolutely positively not i love being me i love me i love who i am look at all this honey i am wonderfully and fearfully made i am only one shalomi there's only one there's only one fingerprint which is nine and i don't want to be anybody else i wouldn't want to i love me i love my life i love the husband i have i love the kids i have i love the family i have i would definitely not want to be anybody else if i were to die and come back i would definitely want to come back as mwah, me all right guys so there you have it um just got a, a little you know look further look into my life and the things I like and I don't like thank you so much for watching if this is your first time watching thank you so much for coming on I would love for you to become a part of the Penny Pincher family by hitting the subscribe button below and right beside that hit the little ding 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 the little bell that way you're notified every time I upload a video and to all my Penny Pinchers I love you guys so much before I end I need to tag a few people so I'm gonna tag Petal is blessed. Come through, honey. You know I was gonna call on you. Uh, Val Foxy Lady, I'm tagging you too. And I'm also uh, tagging Hannah Daily Life. I think Hannah just recently changed the name of her uh, channel to Hannah Watkins. So come through, Hannah. So it's Petal is blessed. Hannah Daily Life. 
or Hannah Watkins and Val Foxy Lady uh, and come through. And until the next time, love you, love you, love you. Bye bye. You know what? Anybody who wants to be a part of this tag, come on through and just say, you know what? I was tagged by the Glamorous Penny Pincher, but it's open to all. So come on through. So uh, my three ladies that I just tagged and anyone else who cares to be a part of this uh, tag. So love you guys. Bye-bye.